first off, I want to write that I never did anything wrong. Not to nobody. I think they're coming pretty soon. Because they've been gone outside a long time. I better start by telling my name, which is Willie Osborne, and that I am 12 years old last July. I don't know where I was born. Then I peeled off all the paper I could reach standing on the floor. It sticks horribly, and the pattern just enjoys it. All those strangled heads and bulbous eyes and waddling fungus growths just shriek with derision. I am getting angry enough to do something desperate. For God's sake, what are you doing? I kept on creeping just the same, but I looked at him over my shoulder. I've got out at last, said I, in spite of you and Jane, and I've pulled off most of the paper, so you can't put me back. Now why should that man have fainted? So Ulthar went to sleep in vain anger, and when the people awaked at dawn, behold, every cat was back at his accustomed hearth, large and small, black, gray, striped, yellow, and white. None was missing. Very sleek and fat did the cats appear, and sonorous with purring content. The refusal of all the cats to eat their portions of meat or drink their saucers of milk was exceedingly curious. And for two whole days, the sleek, lazy cats of Ulthar would touch no food, but only doze by the fire or in the sun. And when they had broken down the frail door, they found only this. Two cleanly picked human skeletons on the earthen floor, and a number of singular beetles crawling in the shadowy corners. <laughs>